What's going on everybody? It's your man Cleve and Terry and today we're going to talk about wireless systems, specifically a battery powered wireless systems and or even wireless XLR. So we're going to talk a little bit about this. I'm going to take you through a very, very small intimate party that I did in the middle of the day on a Saturday just to kind of show you what to expect out of both like your Sennheisers or your Denon Prime Go or even your Mackie Thump Goes if you're looking for a truly wireless experience. Let's talk about it now. It is a Saturday morning, about 11 o'clock. We're doing an event uh, outside. It's a bar mitzvah, but it's been a super shrunk bar mitzvah. DJ check one, two, entertainment, very nice. Pickles, please go around back. By the way, I'm literally here by myself. So today, Today we're gonna go, we're gonna go wireless. All battery, all wireless. I got the uh, Mackie Thump Go, and I have, uh, I got my Denon Prime Go. Both fully charged, Denon Prime Go, fully charged. That might be all I need. Uh, technically, I probably only need one, to be honest with you, but I got them both here. Might as well use them, right? This party is about three hours long, so, uh, more than enough for both the Go and the Mackie Thumps. All right, I need both hands for this. See you in a minute. All right, so I guess I'm going right here, which is fine, out of the sunlight. All right, let's set up. them but i'm gonna go truly wireless today so i got the uh the sennheiser x5w digitals which really work they work really well when they're in close proximity but you can't really push them because i find they distort a little bit so we're gonna try these today even though i'm literally an xlr away and i might switch to xlr anyway just because but we'll give it a try anyway just just for now You can hear that distortion, right? So we're gonna talk about the XLR. And that's probably the uh, the only thing about the uh, the digital wireless DMX that I don't love. And that is, in all honesty, um, it just, you can't push it hard. You push it hard and it will distort. So there's only a, a few applications that you can use it in that I can feel confident that they're gonna work properly. So we're just gonna grab some XLRs out of the cord bag here. And uh, you know, there's no use trying to screw things up just because, right? Same thing. See? No more distortion. That is the weakness of these guys, these, these digital DXLRs. I don't love them for that because you can't push them. And what's the, if you can't push them, you know, it's kind of pointless. I noticed early on when I was trying to use them to extend out some systems and uh, every time the, the MC would get on the microphone, they would, it would distort. People were like, what's wrong with your speaker? Your speaker's blown. And it took me a minute to really understand, no, my speaker's fine. It's just the digital distortion of the system. So now we're good. No issues now, I think. done uh again it's uh what is it 12 o'clock yet so it's 1205 this party goes until three o'clock so these all of them should operate just perfectly now if for whatever reason they do start to die i do have a outlet right here that i can plug into but i'm just trying to show you guys that for small little backyard slash you know cocktail parties and things like this 
these thumb goes aren't bad. Now, are they the fullest, most powerful sound in the world? No, they are not. But for something like this, especially in a pinch, if you're doing something that you're on a beach, you're trying to use them for, I'm saying this, but it's not that I really care, but if you're using them for ceremony sound, you know, these will be these will be fine for ceremony sound. I do have a wireless microphone, but I'm gonna use my plugged in XLR because I think I have one speech and that's it. This size, we're not stressing over it over loudness people are going to be able to hear but i'm mainly providing background music for the event i ran into an issue recently where i was at a school event and we were on the soccer field there was no power up there and they did not provide a generator now we don't provide generators on our events i mean i guess if you rent them but they told us they had a generator so we went into it assuming everything was fine we get there and it's like a big ass cell phone battery generator like it's, it's good for you know electronics but it's not good for dj equipment so uh i had to run half my bows i had to turn i had to turn the bass off and just run the highs which if you guys know anything about line arrays if you don't run that sub typically sounds like crap so um we had to go off and on i was running it through my truck to kind of power the system it was just it was a lot uh finally they got a real generator and then we were good to go but I, all I was thinking the whole time was, if I just brought my, my thump goes, if I just brought those, my thump goes, my Denon Prime go, I would have been fine. I would have been absolutely fine, but I didn't. And now we're all trying to find a solution for a problem that could have been avoided. Yeah, so uh, that's why I decided to bring these to today. And if anybody were interested in looking at the Denon Prime go or any, or any battery powered system, it doesn't have to be the Denon Prime go. I mean, maybe you're rocking a, you know, an M1 MacBook and a little small controller. This is still the, the exact same setup, except mine, everything is in the box. So I'm outside, uh, you know, I have a little more confidence in one of these versus some other computers that I've used, um, but it's just simple. So we're gonna rock this today. Check, check, two, 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 one, two, check, check. Two, one, two, one, 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 two, two, two. I've said it one other time, but I'll say it again. The, the only weakness I have with the Denon Prime Go, it's a very, very simple one. And that is um, the mic input. Yes, you do have a mic on here and yes, it's fine, but there's no way to EQ the mic. They still haven't built any software EQ in the system, which would be great if they would. Would absolutely love that. But right now there is no way to adjust. There's not even a tone knob. It's just mic on, mic off. I really hope in a, in a future firmware update that they add that in there because I think it's absolutely necessary because if your mic sounds like crap, if you sound like crap, if you're dealing with somebody who has to, to, has to EQ a lot, um, that's gonna be a serious problem. That's the only weakness, which means you have to either bring, you either have to bring a mixer or uh, you can feed it into, you know, your normal speaker and then hopefully EQ it out of here uh, this one doesn't have it either, but like on my Bose, I can go directly into the Bose as a separate channel and then do, do digital EQing through there. And it actually sounds really, really good coming out of the Bose, but just, I need something. I need an EQ in here. Just to, give me a tone, something, some sort of frequency adjust that I can just either high pass some of the low end or low pass some of the high end. That's it. I don't ask for much. Now, you guys know this one. And if you don't know this one, Grady's going to help you out with this one. Oh, because Grady knows this song. Oh, no. All right, Grady, are you ready? All right. Now, because this is Grady's bar mitzvah, if you can get up and you can participate with this, I need everybody to help Grady out with this one. You know, it's, he only gets one of these, right? So uh, let's make it count, right, Grady? By the way, by the way, how did Grady do at the service? How did he do? C plus. C plus. <laughs> Well, you know, we're just happy to be out here having a good time again, hanging out with our friends, being able to be close. So a uh, round of applause for Grady, please. Round of applause. Now, look, I know there was a lot of talking in this video, but in reality, it's just me kind of going through my experience of the gear that I was using, some of the frustrations that I deal with. You know, all of these things come into play. And what I wanted to talk about a little bit is 
first off, let's talk a little bit about the Sennheisers. Now, the Sennheisers are, I think, good for what they do, but poor in execution. Like, I really do love the fact that you can have a truly wireless setup. And I've actually run these things on certain parties for cocktail hour where I had a speaker that was, you know, a long ways away and I didn't want to run an XLR. So these wireless XLRs do work in a pinch. But if you're trying to use them for truly wireless systems and you're trying to push those speakers, they just don't have enough in them to accommodate. You're going to get massive distortion. It's going to sound like crap and there's nothing around it. And that's just from my experience. Maybe, I don't know, maybe what I'm seeing is wrong. Now I have two sets of this Sennheiser wireless system so I can run completely stereo if I need to, but I'm just not confident enough to really push them. As you saw right there, you push them a little bit and they will distort. Now you keep them at a reasonable level. Yes, sure. They can work just fine. I'm pretty sure that if you were to use them for since a cocktail or even for like a a wireless ceremony where it's just a microphone, I'm pretty sure they'd be fine, but I wouldn't trust them for pushing out like really, really strong sound and then adding a microphone to the equation. I think you're just gonna, you're asking for trouble. Uh, one of the things that I really like about the Mackie Thumb Goes or any battery powered wireless speaker is we were going into a game. We call it Coke and Pepsi. It's a, it's a game that we play with kids. It's almost like a Simon Says, but the kids know it is Coke and Pepsi. And the actual place we were going to play it was not by the pool. It was down towards the back of the house. And that was quite a bit away. So yes, I could have plugged in my wireless microphone, turned up the speakers louder. But then not only is the loud across the board, but there are people sitting at tables in between the speaker and where we were going to play that game. So they would be hearing all of the screams, all of the loudness. Didn't really want to do that. This is where a battery powered system comes into play. I just unplugged it from the Denon Prime Go, took it out as a single speaker, set it up right on the grass with my wired microphone. And I had a perfect system. The other speaker were still playing cocktail music, so they were still happy. But now I'm not blasting out anybody that just came to have a good time and everybody is winning on this. So Having that option, that free option to just be able to take a speaker anywhere you need to, oh, that's amazing. It's amazing. Now, a couple of things that I will say, and I'm sure people are asking, especially the people that use the Denon Prime Go or are looking at the Denon Prime Go, and that's how long will a Denon Prime Go last? And that's a very tough question. I mean, I know if you look at the specs, they've always said that it will last up to four hours, and they are. Right. It is legitimately up to four hours and then it will die. Now, there are certain aspects of it to where it might not last the true four hours. And that's, for instance, if you're using like a lot of streaming, I had the kid was asking me for a lot of like Minecraft music and strange things that I didn't have on me, but I can pull it through title. So I was able to get onto their Wi Fi and I was able to pull those songs. So, but when Wi Fi is on, you are using up. Uh, considerably more battery. Not that you're going to see a huge decrease, but it's enough that where if you're trying to do a full four-hour party, that might come into play. So I look at parties with my Denon Prime Go as three hours or less, and I'm a happy camper. Anything over three hours, I start to worry a little bit. And this one actually happened. It was supposed to be three hours, but people were still there. So mom said, hey, can we go an extra half hour? At the three-hour mark, I was sitting at about 24%, maybe 23%, somewhere around there. I got through the half hour, but literally at that three hour and like 36 minute mark, uh, I got the plug it in, the battery is going to die warning. So on a perfectly brand new battery, could you get to four hours? Probably. I still wouldn't be completely confident in it without having an ability to plug it in. But three hours or less, I take that thing everywhere I go because it's the easiest situation. Now, the Mackie Thumb goes, however, oh, that battery lasts forever. So I use it during the day and then I had an evening party. So I took all my entire system. I had a rain one in the back and I had my full setup. And I took that to the, to the evening party where they were already 
providing all of the, the sound, but they didn't provide a monitor. So I grabbed a Mac Thumb Go, plugged it in, didn't even plug it in via battery, just plugged, just ran an XLR to the speaker. And for an additional five hours, five hours, so one hour of cocktail and four hours of entertainment, that speaker kept on pumping. That is amazing. That I'm really, really happy with. So that tells me, yes, not only can you do another party, but maybe you can do multiple parties without having to plug them in because that battery will last. So that is my experience with, well, going truly wireless this time. Let me know in the comments below what you use. I know the Mackey Thumb Go isn't the only battery powered wireless system in the Denon Prime Go, which is an anomaly, but there are other solutions out there. So let me know in the chat below uh, what you're using and if you've ever tried to go completely wireless and uh, you know how it's impacted you or for the better or for the worse, put it in the comments below. All right, guys, if you found what I said are useful, hit that like button. If you found what I said are really useful, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on the Instagrams and the Twitters. Get on my Discord, because that's where we're talking about all things Cleveland Terry. Guys, girls, always a pleasure. If I don't talk to you later, we'll talk soon. Peace.